All right, here we are on the Pemi. One of my favorite fishing spots. With my new fishing partner, Samuel, whose dad used to be my constant fishing partner. Back in Messina when he was a kid. Beautiful morning on the Pemi. It was supposed to rain today and We'd be pretty fortunate the rain's going to hold off until late this afternoon. I'm going to throw a bunch of different stuff until we find out what they want. This is one I set up for you yesterday. <laughs> I started. Right on the edge, huh? Got over uh, one of those logs? Yeah. All right, we'll go get it. Keep your, reel your line in as we go. Let's see your rod. I got it. It's right, I can see it right there. There we go. Whoa. Forward. Oh, thank you. Yep. Watch out. Watch out. We're crashing into the trees. Probably not a good fishing spot anymore. Probably... Go down a little bit. I think we spooked them. We'll get around this this bank here is usually pretty good. Oh, now I'm in the trees. You want to try this one? It's a little more of a swimming action. I'll trade you. There you go. There you go. Nice. <laughs> and the farther we go up the river, there's more of those. You'd think there'd be something hiding right underneath that, wouldn't you? Twenty-five feet of water, so that's a big tree. Got one! First fish of the day. Feel like a very big one, but he hit the top water. Oh, it's a pretty nice one. Oh, he's taking some drag. Well, the top water might be the way to go, huh? Yeah, do you have any other? I'll let you use this one. Easy does it. I hold him? Yep. First smallmouth of the day on the top water. Here, hold that, Sam, so I can get a good shot of it. Nice. Hang on. Let me get a picture with you. 
even though I caught it. Ah. All right, why don't you set them back in and we'll, we'll let you try the top water for a while. And there he goes. Sweet. Okay, I told you there were fish on this side, right? So what I did with that is I got it I got it as close to the shore as I could without, you know, getting in those trees, and then just popped it a few times and I'll trade with you. All right, let me get us in better position. Let's uh let's go back up to where we were by that opening because I think that's a really good spot. And I think that top water would be perfect there. So we just had to try a bunch of different things until we found out what they wanted, right? And I didn't have the camera on when he hit the hit the lure, but he hit it pretty good. So try that sidearm cast. See that rock right there by that opening? Try that sidearm cast and try to get it right near that rock. Perfect. Now just reel it. There you go. Just oh, you got one. Oh, you got him. Oh, he's a jumper. Well, top water is the way to go. The whopper plopper. It's a funny name. Oh, he's tiny. Oh, is he? It's all right. It's a bass, isn't it? Don't reel him all the way up to the rod tip. Bring him back towards me, and I'll pull him out for you. Oh, look I at that. Snagged him. You snagged him on the back. He hit it and missed it. All right. Well, sorry about that little fish. We'll stop jumping so I can unhook you. Well, there's Samuel's first fish of the day. Little fish for a little guy. I gotta take a picture of that one too. Better zoom in on that a little bit, otherwise it, you know, it's so tidy. Yeah, <laughs> that was fun though. The whopper plopper seems to be the one. The one. This time, see that big grassy chunk over there? Yeah. Try a. Uh, try putting it right in front of that. Right, that's good. Oh, there's, oh, oh, careful. <laughs> Man, that was another one hit it. That was a little bigger. Go ahead and reel it in. Is it twisted? <laughs> That was a nice one, yeah. No kidding. Got to um, when you when you see the strike, wait until you feel the fish, so you don't pull it out of its mouth. What type of fish is this supposed to look like? What's that? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. I didn't even pop it at all. That's sometimes you know sometimes that's exactly what happens is it falls on the water and then they hit it. Here, bring it to me. Even without popping it. So that's when you cast it, just kind of let it sit a second. What the heck? All right, hang on. Whew, he twisted you all up. There you go. Nice. And just give it, yeah, one, one or two little twitches like that. Your dad and I on the Racket River used to use these little tiny torpedoes which have a blade on the back kind of like that. And sometimes you just put it right next to the shore and as soon as it hits and it makes that first little twitch. And once you get about there, you might as well bring it in because the water gets really deep right there. Might want to put your raincoat back on. It's starting to rain again, isn't it? Go ahead. I won't motor until you get your life jacket back on.
Top water? Yeah. Whopper plopper? Hang on. There you go. Let me shut off the motor. Hang on, let me back us up a little bit. Stop our forward progress. Try that sidearm cast. You seem to be really doing good with that. Especially with that kind of thing. Perfect. Sprinkling a little bit again. I might have you grab my raincoat out of the front for me. Right now? No, after we, uh, after you catch a fish here. You better catch one before I get wet. <laughs> well, the weather was wrong again. They said it wasn't gonna rain until three. And it's not three. It's not even nine. But we have the technology. There we go. Manly men that we are, a little rain doesn't bother us, does it? No. That's perfect. Right under those trees. But Samuel, do me a favor. Like if you set the hook, that's going to come right at me, right? So turn yourself. We get up there, cast right across the front of that point. Uncle Big Al caught a really nice fish here last time I brought him and Eric out here. Right across the front of that point. Let me get you a little closer so you can avoid that tree and use that sidearm cast. All right, whenever you're ready. Perfect. Call it a day, okay. We're calling it a day. We're done for the day. Well, for the morning anyhow, it's a little bit afternoon. Samuel and I were out for about five hours. Landed three bass, uh, one perch. I'm gonna keep that. If we caught some more, we could have some lunch, but we only caught the one. Um, we missed a ton of bass on the Whopper Plopper. Uh, that's what we caught most of our bass on was the whopper plopper. I caught one on a spinnerbait But it was a fun morning now. We're gonna go back to the house have some lunch Do a little shooting Before it starts to rain so we'll see we might go back out tonight in the kayaks, but we'll play it by ear Thanks for watching